Well, it's that time of year again. It's Christmas, so that means one thing, lots of Christmas lights. So today we're going to be looking at my homemade controllers that I've made and designed with boards from JLC PCB. So here we have one of my homemade controllers. I have five of these that I've made up. As you can see, we have mains input, we have a Wi Fi antenna, we have output, and some information about the unit and what it's controlling and its name on the network. So let's have a look inside. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos on the LED lights, this is the board that we use. Basically, we have a WeMOS controller, the relay to cut the power, and hidden under there, we have a level shifter. This was the reason I made these boards for this exact project. So let's have a look inside. So this was a later addition, this WeMOS with an external antenna, just to give a little bit better signal. We have five volt, five amp power supply, which is more than enough. Um, fused input, basically everything nice and neat, connected. 5 volt data and negative and that's basically it and these are just hidden on the floor somewhere close to the windows that the LED lights will be attached to in each one of the rooms and we have a bigger one for the Christmas tree that has my three channel board on it Uh, I do have some of these boards left so if you're in the UK and you're interested drop me a message and we may be able to sort you one out they are in limited supply so if I do get enough demand to make them again I can get some more made at JLC PCB but as it stands at the moment I've probably got maybe 10 spare but that's it. So let's plug it in and let's have a look. So here we have it powered up and on the uh, web page. So we go to config and we can see we're on version 10.02, which was current funnily enough this time last year. So let's update this to a stable version. We see we've got version 0.13, but it's a beta five. I'm not going to bother with a beta 5, I'm going to go straight for a stable version, which I know is fine for the moment, which is 12.12. So we're just using the ESP8266.bin. If we go to the builds and have a look, there's version 12. Which binary should I use? and basically it's just uh, the ESP8266.bin which covers the WeMOS D1 which we are working at the moment. So we click on update let it do its business just let it reboot and there we go we're back on so if we go to there you can see we're now on version 12 so this one set up for 100 LEDs with a GRGB a GRB configuration and we'll go 
able to sync interfaces and I have it connected to my home MQTT. And we have different device topics and group topics so we can group control them or individually control them. So let's turn some lights out and let's have a look. Now there's one slight difference from version 0.10 to 0.12 is that we have to tell it which pin the relay is on. So we need to go down here and we need to look at relay pin. You can see there's pins selected for the button, the infrared and the relay. So my design says that the relay is on pin 12. And we save that. And we go back. And fingers crossed, when we click power, we have power. Now you can see when I click green, we get red. When I click red, we get green and blue is okay so that means our rgb is back to front on these on this led string so if we switch it to rgb click save that should fix that so there's red there's green and there's blue and there's the power excellent so this is now ready for um, placing on the windows but we'll have a quick look at um, node red show some of the flows that I've done to control this and then the next step is actually putting them around the windows so let's have a look at some effects so first off switch it on not sure how well this is coming across on the camera it seems to be okay maybe not the brightness down a little bit okay everything seems to work good so let's have a look at some node red so here's node red so I have a timer that switches them on and off at certain times I have delays so they're not all coming on at the same time and then I have the topics and the different um, parts that I'm controlling so on the sequence timer I have timers every hour and in each of these timers is a different effect As you can see and these effects are um, the effects listed on the WLED site maybe try and find those in a minute and basically it just changes the effect every hour they have two of those so I've got standalone controllers and we have um, the small trees that are made a while ago We have some web buttons to turn them on and off and this was basically a test sequence so every FX I could pipe into whichever um, one I wanted to test and then I can have a look at the effects and then take the FX number and program them into the uh, sequence timers and that's it so basically fully automatic Christmas lights come on at three o'clock come on at three go off at 11 every hour changes a sequence it's all good if you want to take over manually you can um, go into the WLED settings hit synchronize that will then synchronize them all and then you can change whichever sequence you want but that's it that's the that's the standalone controllers 
let's see if we can find there we go so there's a list of the FX as you can see there's lots and lots to choose from and I always use the um, random color palette because that gives a nice effect but you can see there's different color palettes available and here we have all the different effects so depending on how you arrange your LEDs will be how it looks so what I might just do this year is just have a look at some of these effects and see how they um, perform around in a, uh, around a window but yeah as you can see plenty of effects So here's the insides of my three channel controller, which is basically the single channel controller, but three of them. And I use this controller for the Christmas tree, the rear window, and the star on top of the Christmas tree, which is also addressable. So you can see three Wemosses, three relays, one level shifter, and little bits and pieces around it. a um, big power supply um, can't remember how many amps it is but it's at least 20 amps absolutely more than enough needed with a power switch fused input and the three antennas for the Wemosses that um, give a better reception with them being an external antenna because you can probably appreciate that once all these get going there's quite a lot of Wi-Fi interference so we do need to um, make sure that our signal is as good as we can so we're going to plug this in we're going to give it we're going to update it give it a quick test and then it's ready for connecting up so I've quickly just updated all these three WeMOSes to the version 12 as we've just seen on the standalone units and let's give it a test so I've connected my LEDs up to the center channel and there we have it they seem to be working they seem to be working nicely Yep, everything's good. So we'll just select random. Where's our random color? There's random cycle. And there, that just cycles through random colors. Okay, well, there's not much more I can do now apart from actually start putting these Christmas lights up. So in the next video, we will be putting them up, putting them around the windows and giving them a giving them a test, giving them a sequence test and see how they look this year. So stay tuned for part two and thanks for watching.